Imagine parallel digital universes, or virtual worlds which are accessible via a computer, virtual reality headset, or a smartphone. It is a future model of the internet. The metaverse will allow users to work, meeting, game, and socialize together in these 3D spaces. It's not a website, not a platform, not an application. It's a vision for the next step in the internet's evolution. It's worth pointing out that there actually isn't just one metaverse. The key players at the moment are Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook and more. The term metaverse can be traced back to Neil Stevenson and his dystopian cyberpunk novel Snow Crash. The novel was released in 1992. The metaverse opens up a new economy where wealth can be created, traded, and enhanced using a currency distinct from, but related to the real world. It sounds as a commercial thing that creates new revenue streams because it will provide companies with a new way to promote goods and services. People would spend lots of time interacting with their friends and colleagues in virtual space. As a result, they would spend money there too on outfits and objects for our digital avatars. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said his company's metaverse investment represented a fundamental change and was part of a new vision for the social media giant designed to bring the metaverse to life. And he introduced Meta, which brings together our apps and technologies under one new company brand. What is the metaverse exactly? There's no universally accepted definition of a real metaverse, except maybe that it's a fancier successor to the internet. There are some new building blocks in place, like the ability to host hundreds of people in a single instance of a server. It's a kind of technology segment which everyone builds their world on. Metaverse promises limitless opportunities for work, gamma play, social interactions, and revenue generation. You can purchase and monetize real estate and digital parcels. You can play games via VR headset and can change your hair color, body type, accessories, gender, or even appear as a fictional character in the game. There are several metaverse games designed primarily to help people meet and forge connections. Thus, it is easier to meet new people without having to travel large distances or even leaving home. Many of the new metaverse platforms are powered by blockchain technology, using cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens (NFTs), allowing a new kind of decentralized digital asset to be built, owned and monetized. Among all the hype surrounding the metaverse, the debate on Decentraland versus Sandbox has started gaining attention. Both of them are completely decentralized metaverse platforms. Both of these metaverses have been developing for several years and offer users both similar and unique experiences. Players can build, own, and monetize their gaming experience, both virtual worlds are built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Both are decentralized universes. If you like to explore these worlds, you can visit its website on a browser. Then, create an avatar, give it a name, confirm your legal age, and the digital world is yours. Another question is, do we need metaverse? The metaverse will revolutionize remote work by bringing the intimacy of in-person interactions into a digital space. You'll be able to be inside all your online experiences, like shopping, meeting friends and family, going to a concert. There are concerns around data privacy, security, diversity, and ethical behavior, problems of the real world that may take on a new dimension in a virtual one. Many adults are also worried about content moderation and safety in the metaverse. But remember, we have experienced all these facts in the internet world. The metaverse promises to be an all-encompassing next phase for the internet. A lot of what isn't really possible to do on the internet today, dancing, gaming, working out, could make sense with the metaverse. We can say the acceptable metaverse doesn't exist right now. However, what does exist is a number of exciting new technologies, which in theory will gradually join up and form the building blocks of a future metaverse. The metaverse won't replace the real world. It will be additive to the real world. What are your thoughts about the metaverse? Would you use or invest in the projects? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 